hello students uh, welcome to my youtube channel electrical engineering in today's lecture i am going to demonstrate the representation of taylor series using matlab so we all know that every mathematical function can be represented as an infinite sum using the taylor series the mathematical form of taylor series is given by this equation 2.1 f of x is equal to f of x naught plus f derivative at x naught divided by 1 factorial into x minus x naught plus f double derivative at x naught divided by 2 factorial into x minus x naught square plus so on. So in this MATLAB based tutorial, I will show you how to generate this Taylor series in MATLAB and how to evaluate the value of a particular function at any given point using this Taylor series and using the analytical expression. So by using this Taylor series, we can expand the three famous mathematical functions. The first mathematical function is exponential function. And according to this expression 2.1 e raised to power x is equal to 1 plus x plus x square by 2 factorial plus x cube by 3 factorial plus x4 by 4 factorial plus so on. Similarly, we can expand cosine function using the Taylor series and it is given in equation 2.3 and similarly sine function is expanded in equation 2.4. In order to draw the Taylor series using MATLAB, we have to follow this flow chart. The MATLAB script is very simple. We have to just write these commands in the MATLAB script file and run this script. And we will get the result. So let's see the script here in the MATLAB M file. When I click on this run button, I get this Taylor series representation of sine function. In this sine function, I have assumed seven terms and uh, I am seeing only four terms here. The reason is the other intermediate terms are actually equal to zero. There is one term which is having x here another term having x4 so all even powers of x are actually equal to zero so they are not shown and when i select seven over here i actually get only four terms and all even powers of x are equal to zero this is a symbolic math toolbox of matlab and x is used as a variable my function is sinusoidal function a is actually x naught in that manual. So I have to run this for loop and it will calculate the derivative terms. And after every iteration, the derivative is taken repeatedly and it is added into this function. And at the end, I get this TS of X, which I am displaying in the command window. Then I will evaluate the value of this mathematical function at two. And then I will <coughs> evaluate the value of the function at two directly, sine two, directly. When I put two in this expression directly, then the answer will be displayed in the end. So this is the result of the Taylor series. This is the value of sine two using Taylor series. And this is the value of sine two as calculated by MATLAB. Now I have assumed seven terms and the accuracy is good. When I reduce the number of terms to five, the accuracy of the solution is reduced. Now actual solution is 0 0.9092 but using taylor series the result is given as 0 0.933 and so on 
so it means if i am using more number of terms my answer will be accurate similarly we can also draw the taylor series of post function just run this code and this is the result which is obtained these are the taylor series terms when i increase my number of terms to 7 then my answer gets more accurate finally we can draw taylor series of the exponential function and it is given as this 1 plus x plus x square over 2 factorial plus x cube over 3 factorial plus so this is the result for seven terms similarly for five terms the accuracy will be reduced so i hope you have liked this video for watching more similar videos please stay tuned to my youtube channel until the next video it's goodbye